Uh, my name is Luis Mora. I'm a junior at UC Berkeley, and I'm undocumented. On December 30th, uh, I was getting, well, prior to that day, I was getting ready to go back home to San Diego, my hometown, to during the winter break to visit my girlfriend. And during that vacation time, my girlfriend and I were invited to a birthday party. And our way back, we lost signal, the GPS, and therefore we missed a turn. So we made a U-turn and we noticed that there was a checkpoint. Yeah, we thought it was local DOI. When it was our turn, we noticed the border patrol agents with the uniform. If there was one word I could describe the entire experience, it would be very dehumanizing. Just dehumanizing. That's what it is. And the reason why I'm saying this is because at least with Border Patrol, it was horrifying. Uh, aside of the name calling, uh, fuckface and exotic, constantly known not just to myself but to entire people that were there, they were very unprofessional. You would expect from a federal agent, from a federal agent, a Border Patrol agent, to be more professional, more respectful towards the situation. Yet, it's quite the opposite because they have the federal power they believe they're entitled upon you to treat you worse than any human being even if you ask them for a simple questions i need help or clarification on my rights they will tell you you don't have any rights this is a very informal facility no one knows that you're here and again that's very scary just the fact that if you know he's the one that has power there you have no power there you have no voice and the fact that he said that no one knows that you're either there is it literally sounds like a prison camp in a way and again, it doesn't matter if I says, oh, this is an adequate behavior for Border Patrol agents. We should be asking why is it adequate? Why does it have to be this way? If you want to criminalize those people or undocumented immigrants that do illegal activities or are criminals, then go ahead. But majority of the people there are asylum seekers. Are asylum seekers and just people like myself that were put in that situation of being undocumented. We do not want to be undocumented. We don't hold any sort of criminal record. Uh, despite the fact that still to this day I don't have legal status, like I've been calling this country my home for almost 10 years now. When DACA finally passed in 2012, I was in high school. I did not qualify. I met with so many lawyers and all of them told me the same thing. You meet every single other requirement except for the entry deadline. And your best bet for now is to stay, remain here and hope that the law changes. We found out about this state law, the AB540, which in essence has allowed you to study regardless of your legal status, as long as you qualify a gain acceptance to a credit at U.S. school. And when I finally gained acceptance to UC Berkeley, that was the sense of community that provided me that I was going in the right path. That despite of the risks that I took, the challenges that I decided to put myself into to become undocumented, UC Berkeley was finally able to value my commitment to this country. They gave me the value, because no one else did. It was something that, at the end of the day, despite of not having a social data belong here. And then I just have to prove everyone that I do belong here.